You know, guys, when you think about some of the biggest ideas in history, like JFK's dream of landing on the moon or the Gipper's challenge to tear down a wall, big ideas can set to fire imaginations of dreamers everywhere. And of course, the challenge is the sale of the idea to NASA, to Mr. Gorbachev, and even to the American people. And although many of us will not try to convince NASA to put a man on the moon, we are selling our ideas every day to our boss, our spouse, and of course, potential business associates. Here to help us spit shine the sales pitch, the cracker jack of conduct, Miss Pamela Iring. Good morning, Tyler. How are you? You always wake me up in the yeah, morning, see? I tell you. I'm so trying right. to sell you to our friends. I know, I love it. I'm sold. <laughs> I'm there. So let's talk about how you, you really, you, you put that spit sign on, on selling yourself. Yeah. Well, first of all, you have to know your audience. Make right. sure that you're trying to solve a problem for them mm -hmm. or give them that big vision. So you have to showcase it. You have to mm -hmm. show confidence. You have to show authority. You have to know what you're talking about and put some inspiration into sure. that presentation or, or pitch. Sure. And it really is that solving the problem is what I think yeah. what ropes people in, right? Yeah. Anybody can say, yeah. this is wrong and this is wrong and this is right. awful and this is awful. But it's selling the idea of how to make something better. Well, just like going to the moon. Well, that was, right. you know, that, what is better about that? Well, innovation, research, and knowing what's, on, what's there beyond. And the cheese. And the cheese. Is it cheese? That. We need to know. I, I've heard so, that the cheese is good on the moon. Right. It, it's well, true. I don't know. We could ask a few astronauts. I have some friends at NASA. Well, there, I'll make some calls. <laughs> so how, what are some cool ideas on how to actually do that, to get that sale done? Yeah. Well, what do you want to do is story tell. Mm -hmm. I think when you're trying to get inspiration and, and get that big idea sold, right. you know, it's about inspiration and having them visualize that. One thing I use are props. Props okay. are very good in sales techniques. So you bring in some white shoes? Well, these aren't just any white shoes. These are Phyllis Diller shoes. This is, these are a pair of her shoes. And Even as you autographed can see, by Phil herself. That's right, love, Phyllis Diller. And <laughs> I, perhaps I'm trying to solve something for someone and I have a product right. that could do this. Maybe I bring these shoes and say, perhaps, perhaps you could walk one mile and Phyllis Diller's shoes. Think about when she started out as a beginning comedian. Was it easy to walk in these shoes or was it challenging for her? How can this help you? Let me tell you about my product. And it's like I'm grab them, I'll buy seven grab them. We call them a grab them. I don't know what you have, but I'm going to buy seven. <laughs> so really, you're not necessarily even selling shoes, but you're using the shoes to illustrate the story, yes. which then sucks the people in. They buy into your ideas, bada boom, bada bang. Because you have to get their attention, right? You know, and right. and then you can relate it to where their pain points are, or how are you going to make me money? They're thinking, what's in it for me? You're right. It's true. And so we you all have to connect. Know. Right. You have to connect it by selling them. You get their attention first, sure. and you're like, whoa, wait a minute, what's she talking about? That's kind of cool. And then you get into your idea. It's, it's the basics, almost the one on one of direct response marketing. You know, the Billy May stuff. You got to probably get a whole new boat. That's you got to right. spray the holy heck out of it. You float. Done. Exactly. <laughs> it's so simple, isn't it? <laughs> Pamela Iring, the Protocol School of Washington. We're going to put details for you at abccolumbia.com. And if you'd like to walk a mile in Phyllis Diller's shoes, they're itty bitty, but you, they might want to fit me. I don't out. think they're going to fit no. you, Tyler. Guys, stay oh. with us. We're no, not even close. <laughs> no. No. Not even mine. <laughs>